welcome back to the channel guys, it's Miles. Now let's talk about today, if you should buy a $5,000 house in Detroit. And in the short term, answer, no. <laughs> now I'm gonna go into detail of why some specific reasons I wouldn't buy in Detroit and why I haven't yet. Most people when they think about real estate investing, they think it's like the stock market. You just put your money in, you don't do anything, you just sit back, collect money. Ah, it's usually not the case. Real estate has a lot of moving parts from management to repairs to dealing with tenants. There's a lot of stuff that goes on when you buy an investment property. If you're new to this channel, welcome. My name is Miles and I own over $3 million of residential rental property, primarily in Michigan. And today, that's why I wanna talk about Detroit. It's one of the biggest and most talked about cities in Michigan. It was once the Motor City, booming, over a million people in population. Nowadays though, Detroit has a population right around 670,000 plus people, give or take. And it's not the city that it used to be in terms of opportunities, good schooling, lots of jobs. It isn't like that nowadays. Now, I love Detroit. I grew up in Hazel Park, Michigan, which is right on the border, eight mile. You know, if anybody's seen the Eminem movie, I grew up right in that same area. So to me, Detroit has always held a special place inside my heart. It's a very diverse area, meaning you can go down one street and you'll see beautiful brick houses with nice lawns, very well taken care of. And then you can go one street over and you'll see a lot of abandoned properties, burnt down cars, and it looks like a third world country. So you really have to be careful when investing in Detroit. There are certain areas that are good, for buying, maybe flipping, maybe uh, buying and renting out, depending on whatever your game plan is. But overall, I wanna give some thoughts on why I personally have not invested any money in Detroit yet. And trust me, it does look like a good opportunity when you can buy a property for five or $10,000 and it could rent for anywhere from five to 800 bucks a month. Man, it, could that be a good investment? It looks like it, but to the untrained eye, it looks like a bargain. But to anybody that has knowledge and experience in real estate, there's a lot of other factors that come into play that might not make this risk worth it. I wanna know your guys' thoughts. Would you invest in Detroit? Would you spend $5,000, maybe less, depending on where the property's at, to get a little house and to rent it out? Let me know your thoughts. Drop that comment below. And while you're at it, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't already. So my first reason why I haven't invested in Detroit is because no one lives there. People are moving out. One of your biggest obstacles when you're a real estate investor and you buy and you hold is you want to make sure you're in areas where people actually want to live. There's people moving there and there's a big clientele of people and tenants to choose from to put inside your property. Because remember, when you buy something, you have to pay for property taxes. If you had a mortgage, you gotta pay for that. Insurance, repairs. So the last thing you wanna do is have a property that's costing you money every month without being able to put somebody in there. So to me, that's one of the biggest takeaways. First things first, there's a not a big demand of people wanting to live in Detroit. Secondly, it's the quality of tenants. I mean, thinking who would wanna live in an area where it's burnt down, there's high crime, there's uh, you know abandoned cars, there's no job opportunities. Who would really wanna live there? And that's what you gotta think about as far as your quality of a tenant. Because remember, when you buy this rental property, it's all about managing it. It's literally like a business. You have customers, you have your tenants, you have accounting, bill pay. So you wanna make sure that you're, you're tending to the right type of customers because that's your clientele and last thing you wanna do is be dealing with people that are nothing but a headache. I've seen it before, having to chase people down for rent, squatters getting in there, and you don't really wanna do that. So when you invest in an area like Detroit where it's really beat up and run down, sometimes you can get tenants that are not the best, they don't pay. Now I'm not saying all of them are like that, you can get a good tenant regardless of where you invest, but to me, I like investing in areas where there's a, a big pool of clients to, and tenants to choose from. Now the number three thing is a combination of the criteria of the area of Detroit. When you're buying a rental property somewhere, you wanna make sure that there's lower crime, that there's good schools, because families wanna live there and raise their kids there, 
that uh, there's employment, um, that you have lower vacancies, meaning there's a demand for people wanting to get into that area. And Detroit doesn't have any of these. Detroit has high unemployment, they have high crime, some of the highest crime in the country, they have low school systems, higher property taxes. And as me as an investor, when I look at an area, even an area that's close to my heart, like I would love to invest in Detroit, but it doesn't hit the criteria that I look for when I'm buying a real estate investment. You add all this up, even though it's cheap and you can get into Detroit with five, 10 grand, I still wouldn't touch it. For me, the reward is not worth the risk of dealing with headache tenants, dealing with uh, nobody wanting to live there. So I stay away and I'm gonna continue paying a little bit more for my rental properties, but being in an area where I feel a lot more comfortable that the client pool and the tenants and the schools and crime and everything that comes with it is gonna be a lot better of an area. Guys, make sure to hit that link in the description below if anybody wants a one-on-one -on -one personal coaching call. We can go over anything from investing in real estate to talking about mixed martial arts, training, personal fitness, whatever your goals are, I'm here to help. Now, I do believe in Detroit overall. I mean, it has come a long way. The downtown areas are beautiful. You have lots of restaurants, high class shopping areas. You have casinos. You have all the amenities of a beautiful downtown. Now, the real question is when? When will Detroit turn around? Will it ever be the peak motor city that it once was? And I don't know. I don't have a crystal ball. I can't foresee the future. If I did, man, that would be awesome, but I, I can't. So in my opinion, I'm gonna put my money in safer investments for now, and I'm gonna wait and I'm gonna keep an eye on Detroit. When I see some better signs of growth and recovery, I'll be right there ready to invest. Guys, thanks for sticking around for this whole video. If you haven't already, smash that thumbs up button and that subscribe button. See you next time.